everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's how to fix your smelly washing machine. So if your washing machine is really stinky, oh man, oh, I'll take you through a few steps to try and figure out why it is stinking. We'll make sure your washing machine is hygienically fresh. And then at the end, we'll have a lovely cup of tea together. Oh, right. Let's get cracking. Now what you might need today for cleaning is your partner's toothbrush. Lugs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? No, of course not. Now if you do lots of washing at 30 or 40 degrees centigrade, then this doesn't kill off any bacteria. So this can cause problems and make the washing machine smell. So the best thing to try and keep your washing machine fresh is after you've done a wash, make sure you leave the dispenser drawer and the drum door open slightly just to give it a bit of ventilation. Your dispenser drawer should be in tip top condition like this one. But if it's like this one, then that could be one of the reasons why your washing machine stinks. It's really important to keep your dispenser drawer in really good condition. So what you need to do is every couple of months, just take this out, put it in the sink with lots of hot soapy water and just give that a really good scrub. There's a link above now about how to uninstall a washing machine. This is really useful if you've bought a brand new washing machine and you're going to install it yourself. And then it's also definitely worth cleaning the inside of the dispenser drawer here so that it looks like this. Now you can take your partner's toothbrush and get in there, but make sure before you do that, that you block up this hole here because you do not want to drop your toothbrush down there because that will be a world of pain. So after you've blocked that hole up, then just take some hot soapy water and a cloth and your partner's toothbrush and just give the inside of that a really good scrub so it's in tip top condition. Now what you can do is the jets on the top of the washing machine inside the dispenser drawer can become blocked over time with mold and gunk. So if you've got a small piece of wire, you can just poke that up into the holes and get rid of any blockages. If you've got a dental floss toothbrush, you can use that. That's really handy. Now after you've finished giving it a good scrub, it should look like this. There's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. The other thing to check is just to make sure there's no dirt and gunk inside the drum rubber. So if there's any dirt or gunk in here, just take a wet, hot soapy cloth and just give that a nice clean. If you've done all those previous steps, now the best thing to do to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh is run a service wash program or a drum clean option. If you haven't got that on your washing machine, just put it on the cotton setting, make sure it's on a speed or eco wash because you don't want it to go on for hours and hours and put it on 90 degrees centigrade. Now on this particular Bosch washing machine, we've actually got a drum clean option, which automatically sets it to 90 degrees and a shorter wash. And there we go, look, 90 degrees centigrade. So just take some washing machine cleaner. I've got some Dr. Bettman's Deep Clean. Other brands are available. Pour this directly into the drum. And then you can start your drum clean program. Now this hopefully will keep your washing machine hygienically fresh and stop it smelling. So once you put it in there, just hit the start button and let it do its magic. There's a link above now on various how-to guides and tips on all sorts of makes and models and washing machines. Definitely worth checking that out. Now this is giving the washing machine a really good clean inside. And it really, really does get soapy. And it gets really, really hot as well. So make sure you've got no young children around because that glass will be 90 degrees centigrade, which is almost boiling point, And that is very, very hot. So you don't want children anywhere near this washing machine. And then it will just do a final rinse. And 
and then a spin and then it is finished and hopefully your washing machine will be absolutely smelling fresh as a daisy and that cycle is ended so now what we need to do is the sniff test so I'll get my noggin inside here and give it a good sniff there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water properly. Very fresh. If those steps haven't cured your stinky washing machine, then it could be you've got a blockage in the filter or the filter is dirty. So the first thing to do is make sure you switch the machine off at the mains and unplug the mains plug. And on most washing machines, the filter will be at the bottom, either on the right hand side or the left hand side. So just unscrew that and you will get lots of water out of there. So just make sure you consult your manufacturer's handbook. And you could find all sorts of debris and dirt in here. Take your partner's toothbrush again, just give this a good, good scrub inside. Make sure that, that propeller at the back spins freely. If it doesn't, that means it's not draining the water properly and that could cause blockages and smells to happen. Come on. Ah, come on. We've got some more debris in here, look, just an old hair clip. So none of this is good news for your wash and this could be the reason why it's smelling and it's not draining the water away properly. Give this washing machine filter a really good clean with your partner's toothbrush. And this one is looking spick and span so that can go back in. And then just lock this filter back in. Now you can try another wash, but if you've still got a smelly washing machine, even after all the steps I've taken you through, it could be that you've got a blockage in your drainage hose. What you need to do is pull out your washing machine gently so you've got access to the drainage hose and then take out your drainage hose from the drainage hose U-bend pipework and then we'll check it. Make sure there's no gunk and gunk in there coming out of the washing machine. If there is, give it a good clean. If that's looking clear, then just check the drainage U-bend pipe. The easiest way to do this without taking it off the wall is to take your iPhone, put it on the video setting with the flash on and just video down the tube. And what you should see is, lo is lots of fresh water. If there's lots of fresh water in there, it means there's no blockages. You don't need to take this off the wall. If it looks like it's filthy dirty and there's all sorts of gunk in there, you will need to take that off the wall and just make sure that's all cleaned out. And then don't forget to put your partner's toothbrush back and hope they don't notice. And then it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.